All right guys, so today we're talking about battery drain. Now there's several different major components that are very typical common failure points for battery drain. The very first one is the actual battery itself. We've had, I don't know how many cars come through here in the past. Man, it seems like whether it's flooded cell, AGM, no matter what it is, once those batteries go dead once and they're left dead for a little bit, they just don't want to come back out of it, right? Um, we see this time and time and time again where the car will start and function correctly, but if you let it sit for more than a few days, the battery goes dead. And that's a real common thing. I'm going to show you how to test that right now. I'm going to show you the other causes of battery drain also. Okay, so let's say your battery's going dead. I'm going to have to get a light in here. I don't know yet. I think you guys should be able to see. So they make these little testers for batteries to see if the cell's getting bad in the battery or what the situation is. And so I just have this one. I'll link this one in the description if you guys want to buy it off Amazon. It's like $49 or $40 some dollars. Maybe it's less. I don't remember. But they make all different brands, all different kinds, right? This is going to just tell you essentially right away what your battery situation is. Clamp positive, positive, negative, negative. And this little guy, we're going to toggle down to in vehicle. So it just asks you all these little questions here. In vehicle, look at all the, I need to spray that out. Before charge, after charge. Your car's been running and driving, so it's after charge. Regular flooded, EFB, gel, AGM spiral, AGM flat. This is regular flooded. I'm looking on top of the battery here. This one is 730 cold cranking amps. Uh, let me see here. Seven thirty. And it's going to test the battery out. Okay. So this one says replace. Let me make sure. Interesting. Oh, 12.28 volts, 5.25 amps, or 525 amp. I don't know what that is getting at there, but that's not correct. And it says replace. Interesting. It's still pretty new. So that could be one thing. This car doesn't go dead or have any issues. So that's kind of concerning. Very concerning, actually. And that's a nice little tool to have. Now, that's one little thing. Let's go to the next. The next most common thing that makes your battery go dead is final stage resistor on the HVAC in your car. Oh, looky here. This will happens to be by pure accident. There's one right here, right? Um, this is a final stage resistor. This is what you see typically in German cars. Diff every vehicle has a different variant of this, right? So whether it's Dodge, Ford, Chevy, whatever have you. This either usually sits somewhere in the dash on some vehicles it actually is attached to the rear of the HVAC unit to the button. I've seen that before on some Dodge stuff. And inside here there's little resistors, there's a little circuit board. And what'll happen if it gets burnt, either it could get totally burnt where it doesn't work, where the blower motor won't work, or it'll get arced out inside where it'll stay on. And you may not notice it. And what's so bizarre about these all the functions on the climate control might work correctly, but you're just experiencing battery drain, all right? And we had several of these that would just drain it over a span of like a day and a half. We're going through and instead of replacing it, you just go and plug it, right? Unplug it for a day, see what happens. Now your HVAC fan is not gonna work, but that's gonna tell you what's going on with that. Okay, so the next thing are modules staying awake. and. In the German car community, this is a more typical problem than probably other things. If somebody is hardwired something in, if the module actually has an issue, some cars, if you leave the actual key in the console and it's too close to the ignition, it'll keep everything awake too. There's many, many different variables of that. That's probably the least common case for the battery going dead, um, is module staying on. 
you know there's other things too there could be wires touching somewhere if you have a car that has a recall some certain cars have wiring coating problems uh that could be the case we've seen just all kinds of various things run the battery dead it could be a problem in the alternator run the battery dead but that's what i would try first check your battery um but that doesn't work or it says replace replace it if the problem still persists unplug your final stage resistor google it figure where it's at on your car if that's not it take further steps to test modules and dig a little deeper and see where the problem areas are on your car for today's video that's going to be it for this thanks for watching guys we'll see you soon